I'm going to do a walkthrough right here of a heat pump install that I just did. And uh, we got a two ton air handler. And then I put a new vibration collar. This old one was starting to crack. We got our ductwork, very aerodynamic. Everything sealed. Also, the unit is sealed very well at the top, all the way around, even in the back. We got a new return air, and this one, the old unit was wider and it was facing the other direction and uh, and so I redid the return here and the drain notice I got really good slope on the drain there and I put a clean out make it easy to flush it you see the back side of the ductwork here and it's all screwed and siliconed and sealed up very well now in this one the line set was too small and it was also underground so I put a new line set it was a short run just runs out right there and this air handler is nice it has the uh, it's called electronically commutated motor it's high efficiency so you get a uh, higher efficiency with it let's go take a look outside let's go over here Here's the outside. Got two ton pad since it's a heat pump. I got it on some pump ups there. Get it up above the snow line. There's the new line set. The old line set was way down low there. And uh, it was actually getting to be below grade. So I, I closed that in some cement. Put the new disconnect up higher because the disconnect, they also had that down there. And then what was troubling was this dryer vent was blowing right on where the old unit was. You can see the feet right there. So when I put in a new unit, I moved it out further away and keep the lint uh, off of it and keep it nice and clean. And then it's real important on these units that they're clear, you know, above the unit. And then the line set also has the UV resistant tape on it keeps it looking nice and pretty for 20 years and then uh, for the penetration to the wall it's all sealed with the uh, insulation clay so this job turned out good thanks for watching